Greetings. My name is Dr. Sean Convoy. I am a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner and a member of Duke University School of Nursing's faculty. I wanted to take a few moments of your time to offer some guidance as it relates to the potential psychological impact associated with COVID-19. To be clear, I think it's important to distinguish between grief and loss and post-traumatic stress disorder. To varying degrees, we will all be experiencing grief and loss in relation to this event for some time to come. In each one of our lives, there are dark events that chronicle the passage of time. Pearl Harbor, the Kennedy assassination, the Challenger explosion, September 11th. Well, we now have a new event, COVID-19. Now, when it comes to self-care, I recommend the following. One. Ensure you do your very best to stabilize your sleep. Two, don't use the crisis as an excuse to stray from healthy lifestyle choices. Three, resist the urge to use alcohol or other substances as a stress management tool. Four, be mindful of how you spend your time and who you spend it with. Toxic people and situations are more toxic during periods of crisis. Five, Limit your exposure to social media and the 24-hour news cycle. If you find the combination of the audio-visual medium too evoking, read or listen to the news and avoid video. 6. Be mindful of the things that you say to yourself about yourself. Give yourself the same kind of grace you offer others. You know, so often during crisis situations, we tend to focus on that which we can't control and neglect that which we can actually influence. For example, we can't personally control the national and regional infection rate, but we can control our behavior and how that contributes to the infection rate. We can't personally control the frenzy on social media in the 24 hour news cycle but we can control how much of that we consume on a daily basis. And we can't personally control what people around us say and how they treat us, but we can control what we say to ourselves, about ourselves each and every day. My friends, the human species has a 100% survival rate for these situations. This time in our history has a beginning and a middle and an end. We can't control all that happens, but we can control how we respond to what happens. One strategy I use in situations like this is to get out of my head, and the best way to do that is in service to others. Please, take care of yourselves. Be well.